All right, I'll take my win, you know, I'll take my win. They learn to block, now they need to learn to scoop. And here's the card, we auto play and we, we enjoy the explosion. You know what, let's try. You know what, it actually kinda might work. It's just a 16-16, you know, no biggie. Hello everyone, it's Love here, and today we combine two strategies, Demons and one turn combo with Bloodlet, Raklazot, Rush of Dread or Slasher, and we will be slashing. The outro will tell you everything you need to know about this deck, and let's go into the gameplay, because this will be pretty action-packed, so enjoy and have fun. This is a decent hand, even though it's super slow. Uh, hopefully Duress can get at least a little bit of better. This is okay, I think this is fine. I'm not sure what exactly we get rid of. I think it's Collector's Vault and I will try to go for this. This is a little bit risky. It's 3-drop, so it's basically a late game card. Uh, but maybe we are good at magic enough to actually play it. Grievous Wound, this will be a big problem later. I really need to remove one. So I don't want to get rid of this. I will try to ban man there on the play as well, so they will get it so much faster. All right, I mean, we'll try, we'll try. This is this is really bad turn for us, unfortunately, uh, but it will get better on the next turn. Hopeless Nightmare. All right, we can get rid of one of the lands, that's fine. This is one of the new cards. All right, oh man, Annex. Annex is huge. Okay, I think, I think we have to go with this. Why would we draw in this card if we can just draw cards? And we should be able to set up some demons at some point. So this is Shelly. Oh, Bandit. Oh, you know what? I'm actually, I actually prefer this over Shorted so much because that was their full turn, and they even wasted some mana. And they are not getting value from this. And this is for more rewards, right? All right. Those extra cards really start to matter now. I, want, I think they will go for this, because they know we are holding removal, so they will just set up and try to kill us as soon as possible. Yep, not much we can do about this part, and they know about it. Alright, so we play land and we try to unlock it. Right, this is this is the best we can do right now. And that also, like, they don't have removal. It actually kills them super quickly. Uh, we cannot life gain because of this, but we can still raise them. And we're doing it pretty nice, especially with Rush of Dead. We are nearly killing them on the next turn, by the way. We definitely go for this right now. This is super important. And we can set up Slasher for the next turn. Oh, man. This is not a bad card, right? Okay, let's think, because I, I think we won this game. We could go with Slasher, which is kind of more surprise factor. This is forcing removal, uh, like answer instantly. And the fact that we deal so much extra damage is worth it. I mean, that's 12 damage out of nowhere. They did not expect this, and this is even more. So we we cannot live again, but we don't need to. <laughs> Our opponent. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I enjoy it. This is a good draw for them, uh, but we still go with this. Uh, we will discard a card, actually. You know, just to keep it with style. GG, bro. I appreciate it. And let's draw a card. And we play this. And we go with styling points. Just to show that we have multiple ways to end this game. It was all about this blood letter sticking for one turn. Man, that was extremely close. I didn't think it would go, like, so nicely for us. We can make a treasure with this one and then start doing cards, which definitely helps, but we'll see. Maybe we won't be forced into this kind of play. Uh, show me the one time. All right, mono black always. Okay, okay, this is good for them. I still will try to play on curve, but they will probably uh, get it very easy. Like they can go tiny bones joins up and already get it right. It's one mana. Uh, yep. So it will be a bit rough. I really want the annex into blood letter, but against mono black, blood letter will die quickly, and I'm not sure if we have enough tempo to go for it. We don't really want to waste cards. All right. Listen, I really need to push for this tempo. I should do it after after this. Uh, but you know what? If they spend the next turn just to draw a card, uh, it's actually fine because we have more cards. So we don't super crazy care. 
As long as we have demon, we are fine with it. And so they will tap for sure. That means we can play blood letter, we, uh, we get life, and we force them to respond to it, and that slows them for at least two mana. And even though they will have a lot of cards, I think we can actually buffer it. I would love to go removal here. Against this, uh, removal is just amazing. Because I don't want them to get cards, and they were. Lidiana is decent, but she's one turn too late. So on this turn, Lidiana would be perfectly amazing. Uh, however, on the next turn, they will probably have like one or two extra creatures. I think they will remove Bloodletter, attack with Geeks, draw a card, play a land, and either solve a case or make another skeleton. Here we go, as expected. Alright, this one is free. For this one, we need Malicious Eclipse, so it won't be easy. Yeah, drawing cards is insanely bad. Uh, for us, of course. For us. I think this is the moment. Um, yeah, let's go with this one, even though it dies to, you know, um, what is it called? Uh, aff affliction thing. I still think it's worth it. Uh, because we want to protect Bloodletter a little bit, and th this is also a better stat, so against, uh, you know, some removal like Virtue of Persistence into Cutdown, it's a little bit more resistant. Alright, so they're going for Go for the Throat, I will guess. That's interesting, because that literally shows that they didn't have one. However, still... This this is the problem, because we didn't draw removal that can kill Geeks, and that already cost us like 3 or 4 cards, and that's huge. Really don't want this kind of stuff. And Rush is not good enough. So we go this, we get some card advantage for future, maybe not card advantage, but you know, just some extra value. We didn't hit Eclipse still. So let's see, they had th they have three new cards, so there is a decent chance they, go they got removal, but they already played two, right? So they actually have only two go for the throats in the whole deck. You can block, block one of those. What are you cooking? Alright. Scary. Yep, just, just a lot of stuff. And we want to get rid of this guy probably. And that's probably enough damage, right? Is that enough? No, we are at 1. I mean... Do I win? I think we win, right? Because we have Rush... Did I... Did I... Did I actually miss Lethal? Is, is, is this really... Did I just miss Lethal on the last turn? It's fine, because I wanted to do it on this turn, you know? That was for style points. <laughs> that's how it was. Oh man, that, that was aura. Like, super scary, honestly. Uh, we are going first. Ex I mean, three lands and four three drops. I <laughs> Shuffler is... Uh, Shuffler is fine, man. So, um, hopefully we won't hit super aggressive, uh, you know, hand from our opponent. I honestly think we start with Slashers into Demon and then we unlock Annex. Oh man, this is so tempting. This is so tempting. Okay, I, I'm I'm absolute mad wizard here. Uh, we should not be doing this, but I, I just cannot say no to so many new cards. Especially that you generally draw a lot. Shuffler is just fine. <laughs> uh, you draw so many removal spells that usually you can protect your life total. Even though this is normally extremely, extremely punishing. I think there is a chance we can play around it. This is actually a very good draw. It will be useful at some point. Uh, so, theoretically, we can win on the next turn, which is something I do not mind. So, let's see what our opponent is doing. So, for example, if he plays another Forge, uh, that means we can win on the spot. I go for the Throat, sure. The first removal. I mean, we have Slashers for days, bro. <laughs> and we can make a Demon on the next turn, which is actually a big deal. So, you don't want to use uh, this figure now, because this will only keep getting better. So, you save two life now, but on next turns, you will just you know, save five or six or something. And we know that they want to remove Slasher on this turn before it uh, gets rid of, you know, the counters. Which means that we can unlock this, drain life, and also make sure that now he's in the pick. I mean, look at this, Shuffler is so fine, just four Slashers, one after another. <laughs> Nothing special, double this figure, double Annex, it just, it just went mad, man. Alright, and see, now they, they think, man, 
they think we care about slashers. And this is inter I actually don't want to get hit by this. I hope they won't attack. Because I, I'm not blocking. It's not worth the risk. They should absolutely block. Alright, that's okay. That means we buffered uh, the damage and we have more chambers. And now we have these figures on top of them. However, I could just go double slasher and make it so much harder for them. Take one damage and force a win. Like, there is a huge chance we will draw blood letter on the next turn. We have what? Like, two extra cards. See? That's how you do it. That's how you do it in Magic. They have one turn to probably kill us from 13 to 0. And that was an interesting click. Alright, how much damage they can dish? I think it's... I don't think they can dish enough. They will probably keep removal. Alright, I mean, let's see. <laughs> Alright, that's okay, that's okay. One. No way they will go... Alright, they're trying their best. Uh, we have enough disfigures and eclipses that I think we should be fine. And they are tapped. You never tap against the slasher and they learned it the hard way. Well, <laughs> they took the risk and they lost. Right, we're going first and I have to say, whenever I see this, I know this will be a good draw. Like, the fact that you can cycle every single bad card is just so good. Oh man, and the fact that you can see this is just so less good. It's still mice. A lot of mice with double strike and all this stuff. They know we have room removal. I didn't even care about faking it. However, uh, we can go Eclipse and, well, here you are. Here you are. This is the turn to go Eclipse. Even though they can do stuff, uh, I think it's worth it. They cannot pump toughness to three. That means they are losing everything and that's a huge chunk of their, you know, gameplay, basically. We can draw a natural land if we don't. Uh, we can still go with something else. I think we'll go with Slasher, because that opens Lethal on the next turn. And even if we don't get Lethal, this is a good blocker, and, you know, maybe we can trade one for one against something, and then start the game so it, it comes back. Yeah, I think this should be good. But it's just so fun to see Monoret blocking. Here you go. Now you need to, you know, do the math, because it's for blockers. Please, please, go. I, I had the catchphrase, all right? Don't, don't mess it up, bro. All right. And let's see if, if they actually are capable of blocking. Man, we we taught Monoret to block, and if that's not beautiful, I don't know what is. So they are still dealing damage, because as we know, if you kill the red creature, it still gets value. And if you don't kill a red creature, it wins the game on the spot. So that's how we do it. But we still get the slasher, and our opponent still has a problem with Akrazot. And on the next turn, we can just rush of dread. All right, kill me. You have four cards, two two, and a dream. And I don't think that's enough. Here we go. Uh, when you see they are spending mana to cycle cards, you know they are in some trouble. Here's the Dragon Engine Phyrexian, which, as we know, is the prime mono red card. All right, I mean, why not, right? I wish we drew a land and win the game right now, uh, but unfortunately not the case. Uh, well, we cannot really allow him to double strike, but at the same time... Yeah, let's go for this play. I really think we want it. Here's the land that we wanted. Uh, I don't... Well, I guess we could get for another Akazot, but let's just roll with this. Let's just roll with this. With double strike, to be absolutely honest, I think they can win. That's how it works. So I will try to block this and bait uh, the pump spell on this card, on this card, and then we remove it with go for the throw because otherwise we are, we cannot do this. And let's see if they can deal. 13 damage on 3 cards, which is absolutely easy. Uh, if we drew this figure, that would be a bit easier, but we didn't, so they have a chance to win the game. And we successfully baited them into making this play, which is, which is as good as it gets. Uh, if they pump it more, that's even better, because we actually don't care. As long as it dies, that means Bloodletter combo is winning on the next turn. So now they lost this card and they still need to win. Oh man, this, this, this is exactly... A Everything opposite of how they should do it. Alright, I'll take my win, you know? I'll take my win. They learn to block, now they need to learn to scoop. And here's the card. We auto-pay. 
and we we enjoy the explosion. Right, our opponent is going first. Let's see how red he will be. Oh, he's not red at all. That's uh, that's that's a little bit crazy. All right, let's do rest and see if we can hit at least one spell. All right. So it should be mentor into the reinforcements probably. A little bit rough because we are the worst player and we are actually on the draw, which I think will will be the reason we lost. Because on the play we can actually beat this. Uh, then we would be playing Liliana to this, then they go for this and it's too slow because we go like Slasher or Akrazot. However, with this play, I think they can actually go for it. And I cannot set up Annex because it will be too slow. I mean, we definitely, well, we have to go with Slasher. There's no, uh, like, no, you know, no doubt that this is the play. Alright, another. So they want to pump uh, the Mentor as, as much as possible. Yep, just a 16-16. I mean, why not, right? This is how we roll in standard. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, that was uh, that was a great game of men. I guess we can kill nearly everything. You know what? Let's try. You know what? It actually kinda might work. It's just a 16-16, you know, no biggie. Like we can we can just beat it with our three drop like easily. Ah yeah, that's the problem. And now we can go Lily. Man, I cannot believe we actually will win this. No way we will actually win this. So how do we do it? That's the old question. How do we do it? We can attack with this and force this to block. But then we are forced to... I guess we are not fully forced to block. Uh, if they don't pump it, that's kind of okay. We can also go Liliana into Duras, and Duras will probably mess, right? You know what? This was their good play. This was their good play. So I think we are, we are kind of losing Lily, which sucks, but we need to roll with this. We need to make sure that Yep, just more Carnosaurs, or whatever you are. Uh, so we cannot really attack here. Alright, alright, one draw. If they draw bet, I mean, it's... You know what, I'll take it at this point. <laughs> at this point, I'll take it. Yeah, I think... Oh man, every time if they drew a land, they would lose the game already. Really. Alright, uh, I'll take it. That's a lot of damage, but it unlocks some possibilities for us. Yeah, and with Akrazot we can go for the Demon Synergist, maybe. Don't forget, this is their literal last card. And we can discard it. Uh, I have enough Akrazot, so let's go with the Council. I'm tired of I mean, one round on top deck. How good can it be, right? Man, I cannot imagine that the game is still going. Alright, that's, uh, that's a very good draw that they didn't have so far. All right, all right, but we can set up the Unholy Man, They didn't even try to play it out. All right, we're going first. We have uh, basically Blood Letter of Aklazot. And I mean, this is an interesting hand. Bacon. <laughs> all right, you got it, bro. Uh, let's go with the Cancer. I think we want to, you know, get some demons going. Yep, yep, we, we, are, we are cooking. All right, let's see what, what that is. Spinner, it has haste already. Oh, I don't remember exactly what it does, but it does bad things to us. I still think we go with it. Alright, like we are rolling with it. I want extra cards as soon as possible. If we die, so bad. Because we can go this figure on top of Eclipse on the next turn, so I kinda think that we, we can sweep the board fully and also have the answer. I should probably read it. And you may cast if non zombie creature, sure. I think it will be Annex. Even though the card is great, I think this is a little bit better. Yeah, we can absolutely smog this super hard. Let's go with Vault in case we have to get rid of Swamp. This is interesting. We could go for the Aklazot. We could go for the Aklazot. We really want to Eclipse this. If we go Duress, you know what? Oh no, they have go for the throw. This is such a bad play. Uh, I think we have to go like this. Uh, we keep this figure, we keep this guy, and it's the exile, so it's not a problem for the rest of the game. This figure or duress. 
this figure because we care more about life total. Uh, this is burning us quite a lot, but at some point, at some point, we should do it. This this is okay. This is uh, you know some extra damage, but we can. Uh, they are fully tapped, and I think we. Oh, and they are discarding. This is interesting. So that means they are fully stacked with removal. Probably. Yeah, let's go with this because we can combine it with blood letter. All right. So what is the removal we want to get rid? Of? This doesn't hit. Target player sacrifices a creature. Well, that kinda works. <laughs> All right. And here's the blood letter. We draw a card. We live game. Oh, this is a decent draw. All right. I think we're in a in a nice spot right now. Even though they have the skeletons, uh, they can remove blood letter, but that means they don't have as much value on this turn. We, we, we generally outvalue them super hard. We just need to survive a little bit. Alright, land is extremely good here. That means we live gain again. And we keep the this. Yeah, man, it's, it's going great so far. So, uh, we every time you live gain and draw a card, that feels just amazing. And we also drain our opponent, so it's... Man, we are 14-14, even though he is the aggressor for the whole game. Uh, there is Nessa, but uh, she cannot trigger a crime instantly. Interesting, alright. I guess this has menace, but it, it doesn't really progress him, so I think... The first one was okay, but this one is brutal. They kinda can get it back, but I think it will be too slow. So there are just uh, Gisa into, like, you know, uh, all those zombies. And skeletons. Does she pump skeletons? Yep, as well. But I think it will be a little bit too slow. I hope. So we go slasher into demon attack and we keep the removal and that should be good enough. This has worth too, right? So I actually don't have enough. So we will kill the other stuff. Yeah, that should be fine. As long as we live game, that should be uh, you know, aggressive enough. They need to burn us through so much and they are also behind on board. So even if they play Gisa, Gisa on this turn, it's just too slow, right? She's not doing enough. Yeah. GG Bacon. Oh boy, on the draw. On the draw with no removal. I'm sure it will go great. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm already in the absolute losing mindset. Whenever I'm on the draw and I don't see removal. However, you cannot really mulligan because this deck goes card for card most of the time. Uh, unless you have a lot of mana. So it's very, very hard to just go like, you know, crazy. All right, the money crocus. Uh, so we will try to play like this. And let's see. Oh, this is the type of stuff. Ethereal armor is really strong for future. They don't have flyers though, but they have mana on something. This is a little bit easier because this is this is first strike. I honestly think this will be stronger. This is one time pump, but against Slasher it doesn't super matter. And this super matters against the Slasher because uh, it gives first strike. They will have menace anyway, but maybe we will have time. And imagine having time to play double tree drop in the game. I just played land, by the way. Oh boy. Let's get rid of this and hope that we can draw a creeps and be a good gamer instead of being a bad gamer and not drawing a creeps. Uh, this is 3-3, so it, it won't get hit, but the rest will. Cool. Slasher. Of course, cannot block. Just making sure that Monorad players are protected from thinking about blocking. Uh, they at least cannot attack easily with the hero. So that shows that they probably don't have pump. And uh, this is too slow. I think we have to go with Slasher. Oh boy, uh, can I attack? Not really, not really. I think we have to be defensive and it sucks. Alright guys, I'm, I'm not buffering the silence. Now we will see how Monored player enjoys the game. Spoiler alert, for some reason they did not attack, which is already crazy. So, uh, we can go with Demonic Council into Liliana. And because that gives us a closet. Uh, 
and I will still do it for the sake of, you know, just getting some extra edge over our opponent. One damage is perfect, that means we are not getting too much, and that also means they cannot block on the next turn. So they, they should know that this is Lifa. Uh, they should honestly attack and force one of the slash. Well, I guess they probably can kill both, right? Alright. I will go like this and double attack. Let's see what our monorate player is doing. Like, they, they will definitely think about it. Here's the... That, that, that was a block. All right. Well, the last game was something, wasn't it? Oh boy, it took way longer than you have seen. Those thinking times were premium, and control players wouldn't be ashamed of it. So what about this uh, this deck? We are so heavy on the three drops, man. It bothered me for a while, but in the end I decided that it is the best version, because I will actually show you the stats for this one. We went 7 and 5. However, in reality, we went 7 and 4, because one of the games was in the previous version. I actually tried different version for this deck. We we had the Grievous Wand and it got absolutely destroyed. That version got completely smoked by everyone and I had to rebuild the deck and the first game of those stats that you have seen were in the different versions. So this one actually went 7 and 4 and that's extremely good. That's uh, something I hoped for because the combo of Slasher and Akrazot is very good already. With Rush of Dread, every deck that isn't based on counter spells, you can instantly win the game even if your board position is extremely bad. You have seen like even against skeletons or something, like if you are at one life and our opponent has 1000 life, all we need to do is Rush of Dread pay 5 mana and we win the game. So against mana decks it's extremely good. This also means that generally it's very hard to tap against us because if our opponent is tapped we always get some free value. Either with Annex, maybe we go for a combo or maybe we can just you know play multiple spells. For this reason we have Collector's Vault because you can stack those treasures and this deck is just perfect if you have like 9 mana because you play Akrazot, you play La Rush of Dread so if your opponent is tapped during single turn in the late game instantly he, he will die so that's, that's the cool part especially with Duress with Duress you can make sure that your opponent cannot counteract uh, this uh, you know this play either by the, getting rid of the remover or just counter spells or just you know checking their hand and tailoring your play exactly around it and before we go into the rest of the deck because we have some interesting choices that you probably are, are intrigued by. Uh, first, a huge thank you to our amazing patrons for supporting the content and just letting us go crazy with those builds. So <laughs> thank you guys. It is really appreciated. So I hope you are enjoying the content. And yeah, about the blood letter, this is probably the best demon in all honesty. The second best demon is 5 mana 6-6. Six, six. And when you combine those, it, the unholy annex becomes extremely consistent. And this is something I've noticed with other versions of you know different demon annex decks and the fact that you have this interaction just baked into the different deck basically you want this anyway even if it costs life most of the time it's worth it because you can remove basically every creature as long as you have the removal you can duress every play making sure that you know your blood letter stays uh, but the fact that you can make those demons is just so premium it's just so good man uh, one of the choices like i went this road right and you don't need to do it. However, the reason I went with this is that first I started with Triple Fountain Port, so I actually had so many ways to make a treasure, uh, but I kind of scrapped and I did, and decided that uh, w we can just use Fomori Vault, because if we hit a single artifact, and don't forget, this can create treasures very easily, so if you open with this one, uh, you can have like three or four treasures very quickly, so Fomori Vault just becomes a little bit of a tutor, but even if you have one of them, the uh, fact you can cycle cards for three mana it's good enough for a land especially that we have very consistent mana we didn't go for any tap lands so this is a pretty good deal we also want some artifacts because we can try to transform it i honestly hope that we will transform it in the video but we weren't even close so 
you know, not sure if how how worth it, but we have you know land, we have creature, we have plane soccer, we have artifacts, so we can absolutely do it. We also have enchantment, so uh, I expected this to happen like every second game, but it was hard. However, with this card, you can make sure that every card you you will draw is extremely meaningful. So I personally like it. You don't need to go into this twist. And I started with double demonic counsel. Uh, why? Because as you can see, we have seven cards that basically deal. 20 or infinite damage to our opponent as long as the blood letter is here. However, the blood letter effect is unique. There is nothing else that deals the same in, uh, effect. I tried the Gear Grievous Wound, uh, but it just doesn't work the same and it has way less synergy. And I was in this rough situation when I played this. I hoped I won the game and I realized that Grievous Wound uh, works differently than Dakas, <laughs> you know? So this is the reason why we want it, because in this deck it's actually our fifth Aklazot. And th this is honestly kind of worth it. And you can go for Delirium, so later it can be a tutor getting Aether Duress to make sure that your combo works, or just missing part of the combo, so I think that's pretty decent play. Uh, I, as I mentioned, I started with two, but I, I had to cut something. But maybe you can go like Triple Slasher, because they, they played a little bit less role than I expected, but at the same time we won some of the games with just straight up Blood Letter, Slasher, Hit for 20, so it's hard to cut something from here. I even cut the fourth this figure just to be, you know, a little bit edgy. Uh, what I've noticed, because I've been playing different versions and this is the first version that was really successful uh, and big uh, change to this version was playing Eclipse. I lost so many games when I played without a sweeper. Like I played this kind of deck and I think less removal. So this makes a huge difference and I honestly think it's Eclipse, not Deadly Cover Up, because in this deck you have like Liviana, you have a Rush of Dread, so this can be just your four mana murder. You know, worst case, if you they play Shelly, you just can answer it with this one and you know continue on your quest for combo and i think eclipse is extremely good because most of the time we have troubles with this huge board of one ones or you know one two something like this stuff that has one toughness basically and the exile effect is huge against all the red decks and especially if liliana you can uh, go you know kill anything very easily but you cannot go wide so i think even third eclipse could be uh, you know warranted i think this could be a good addition but I, I wanted to go responsibly so we went with two because we have a lot of other removal and duress is kind of removal because they remove uh, you remove their pump spells if you are playing against the uh, aggro deck so guys i hope you enjoyed this <laughs> this outro I really kind of like this deck. I think it's it has so many different combos that you can always find one of them. Either go demon combo, just get a lot of cards and, you know, uh, raise them. Uh, instant kill combo, that's super great. Or you can just try to play it as a control with Collector's Vault and Great Door cycling all the bad cards, duressing your opponent so they don't have key answers. And with all those duresses, very easy uh, to, you know, protect the demons, including the Akrazot, so the, everything else works better. So I hope it will be the same for you i hope it will work for you and you will have a lot of fun with this one so thank you guys for watching and see you tomorrow